A mysterious planet has piqued the interest of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. The James Webb Telescope just announced the clearest image of Proxima be seen in history. What secrets does this distant world hold? Can it support life? Let's delve into what the James Webb Telescope just revealed. By looking back billions of years into the universe's history, we gain insight into how galaxies came into existence. With the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, we can push this principle further, exploring the furthest reaches of space. The infrared images captured by the JWST are unlike anything human eyes have ever seen. The telescope's capabilities depend on how it is utilized, much like a Snapchat filter on your phone. The James Webb Space Telescope enables astronomers to study the early universe, helping us better understand the birth of galaxies, stars, and planets. By using the telescope's camera and filters, researchers can analyze hues in those images, gathering a specific range of light colors. Additionally, the JWST investigates the atmospheres of planets outside our solar system and searches for indications of extraterrestrial life. Its ability to look further back in time and space than ever before has led to significant findings about the evolution of the cosmos. For instance, astronomers have used the telescope to uncover more mass than previously believed, hidden within several massive galaxies. In 2013, astronomers detected hints of a tiny gravitational tug exerted by a planet on its star after years of searching. This planet, orbiting Proxima Centauri, was later named Proxima b. Its discovery is particularly fascinating, as it orbits the closest star system to us after the Sun observing the Alpha Centauri system, about four light years away, offers a glimpse into the past, as we see it as it was four years ago. Proxima b stands out as one of the most exciting astronomical discoveries. At just 25 light years away from Earth, it is one of the closest exoplanets ever discovered. However, its proximity does not make it an Earth like world. Proxima b is about 30% more massive than Earth, making it larger. However, its year lasts just 11.2 Earth days because it orbits its star, Proxima Centauri at a mere distance of 7.3 million kilometers, less than 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. While such closeness might suggest extreme heat, Proxima Centauri is a small red dwarf star that emits significantly less energy than our Sun standing on Proxima b and gazing up at Proxima Centauri, the star would appear as a dull red orb roughly three times the size of the Sun in our sky. If Proxima b is within its star's habitable zone, it might have the right conditions to support liquid water. However, this does not make it a second Earth. The planet is likely tidally locked with its star, meaning one side always faces the star while the other is perpetually in darkness. This creates an environment far from comfortable for potential life forms. Any water too close to the star would boil away due to its powerful radiation, while water on the darker side would freeze due to insufficient heat. Additionally, Proxima Centauri's small size results in its nuclear fusion cores being much closer to its surface causing chaotic and turbulent activity. This leads to powerful magnetic fields that produce high-energy radiation and particle bursts, posing a significant challenge for planets like Proxima b, which orbit within the star's habitable zone. Until recently, scientists had limited knowledge about the magnetic field conditions around Proxima Centauri. Thanks to a recent study utilizing high-resolution magnetic field maps, researchers now have a better understanding of the star's solar wind and its effects on Proxima b. The study revealed that the planet receives roughly 1,000 times more solar wind radiation than Earth, putting any potential life at risk from powerful flares. In April 2021, a Proxima Centauri flare was observed that was 100 times more potent than any flare ever recorded from the Sun surviving such intense radiation without specialized shelter would be nearly impossible. While the idea of a habitable planet orbiting Proxima Centauri is captivating, the reality appears far less hospitable. Humans have always been fascinated by the possibility of encountering extraterrestrial life. This fascination reached new heights in late 2020 when a peculiar signal was discovered originating from the Alpha Centauri system. The signal, detected at an unusual frequency of 982.07 MHz, is not typically associated with signals from Earth-based satellites or spacecraft. While some experts suggest the signal might be caused by a piece of manufactured equipment, others dream it could be proof of intelligent life. Traveling to Proxima Centauri, the nearest planet outside our solar system, and encountering alien life may not be as far-fetched as once thought. 
The Breakthrough Initiatives have been researching the possibility of cutting down travel time from hundreds of years to just decades. Recent research highlights how current technology could potentially overcome the challenge of accelerating an object as its mass increases, particularly as it approaches the speed of light. Despite this, Alpha Centauri, being the closest star system to Earth, would still require around 6,000 years of travel time with current technology, making it a daunting journey. Starshot, a project aimed at reaching Alpha Centauri, the nearest star system to Earth, is considering using lasers to propel a spacecraft toward its destination. However, the main challenge lies in the Earth's atmosphere, which affects incoming light and laser light, making it difficult to exert the necessary force to move a spacecraft forward. Banditunga, the paper's first author, suggests that adaptive optics could be used in reverse to overcome this challenge. Small lasers on satellites would assess atmospheric effects in real time, allowing much more powerful lasers on the ground to maintain a tight focus on the space probe. The required lasers need a whopping 100 gigawatts of power to send the vessel at any given time, which is equivalent to the entire electricity consumption of the United States. However, the lasers only need to run at maximum capacity for 10 minutes. To disperse the electricity across a kilometer square region, they plan to use 100 million lasers. The Starshot team is determined to push the boundaries of space exploration. The object hurtling through space will be moving at an astonishing 20% of the speed of light when the lasers are turned off. This spacecraft, measuring just over 10 meters in diameter, could potentially reach Alpha Centauri in as little as 22 years. However, the journey comes with its challenges, as the gravitational pull of the sun and interstellar debris could significantly slow it down. Even if the spacecraft successfully reaches Alpha Centauri, its transmissions back to Earth would take another four years to arrive, adding to the wait for groundbreaking insights. One of the biggest hurdles for the mission is preventing the probe from melting. Banditunga and Sibley emphasize the importance of the spacecraft's mirror, which must be nearly flawless, reflecting 99.99% of the light that strikes it. This perfection is necessary to double the momentum transfer while minimizing heat buildup over a matter of days. Once launched, the probe would traverse the Alpha Centauri system but is unlikely to pass close to any planets. A particularly exciting aspect of this concept is that once the launch system is established, additional probes could be sent for a relatively low cost. Deploying a fleet of probes to neighboring star systems would dramatically increase the chances of capturing fleeting glimpses of Earth-like planets. Imagine the possibilities, after arriving at Proxima Centauri, humanity would have an entire star system to explore. How many more planets like Earth could be waiting to be discovered? Exoplanets, planets located outside our solar system, have become a hot topic of astronomical research. Thousands of them have already been identified. The first official discoveries were made in 1992 when scientists detected planets orbiting a specific type of neutron star known as a pulsar. By 1995, the first planet revolving around a sun-like star was found. Since then, astronomers have identified numerous additional planets, including several Earth-sized ones situated within the habitable zones of their stars. If you've enjoyed learning about this fascinating journey into interstellar exploration, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks to revolutionary missions like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the Kepler Space Observatory, and countless ground-based studies, we've only begun to uncover the secrets of the universe. It's just the beginning. But what a thrilling start it has been. If you're as captivated by space exploration as we are, don't miss a single episode of Voyager. While you're here, check out the video on your screen for more awe-inspiring insights into the mysteries of the cosmos. Who knows what incredible discoveries await us next?